So we got ourselves a new addition to the featherweight division, which leads to a double upload today. So pretty much rundown on Taboria. Very, very, very solid in the stand-up department. 95 power, above, you know, 90s across the board. Same thing with his grappling, 90s across the board. Good ground striking as well to 94. Clinch control, health stats. Only thing really lacking is his cardio and leg health. And he's just solid, solid. I had a lot of fun working with him and um, Armin Sarukin in terms of working with the stats that we had to do. Although a few things didn't make it in time. I, I made some tweaks for their clinch collar and uh, ground body knees and all that other stuff. But I fortunately didn't make it in on time. So it's going to be at a one star when we see it. But uh, yeah, uh, jabs are level two straight. His hooks are level four. Uppercut, rear uppercuts level four. Body cross is at level three. Lead body hook, rear body hook. So we're going to be using a lot of head body combinations with the Buria. Decent amount of kicks. He is missing his rear body teeth. So that should get added. I don't know if it's going to get added in a patch anytime soon, but they should definitely do that. Jamal Hill is also updated. So I might have to do a showcase for Mr. Jamal Hill. <laughs> you know, and they fucked up with go with Burns because. Uh, they buffed him in lightweight. He's supposed to get buffed in welterweight, but, but I'm just really excited to be able to showcase Topuria. Uh, I'm pretty much just showing you, like, he is, he's solid. Like, you see that? Level 1 body knee, ground elbow. It's just... Why? <laughs> like, what makes y'all think, like, he'd have, like, the 4-star... Yeah, come on. <laughs> you common sense. Just give him a blanket 3. But pretty much the rundown on Topuria is solid 4.5-star addition to the featherweight division. Has great, great grappling submissions, solid boxing, and he, especially with how this meta works, he's going to be a powerhouse in this division, and we're going to go over the rank championships. Got to make sure I take my hood off. I was just uh, getting a little, getting some test runs in with him in quick fight, and he, he feels smooth. The dude, smooth, 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 smooth. Going against a Jose Aldo, so Jose Aldo, why it had to be him? I I, <laughs> I hate beating up all the uh, players. I, I really do. But, I mean, it depends on how the older player plays. So, I'm going to look to fit in with some hooks. I think throw the jab there, too. First response the lead hook, lead uppercut to rear cross. Okay. One, two. So, two straight shots. Puri has some really nasty counter hooks. You know, he was primarily looked at as a grappler. We saw how devastating he was against Bryce Mitchell. Like, absolutely. Pum with Bryce Mitchell on the ground. And you know, there was a fight against Jai Herbert where he came back from a lot. He ate a head kick that knocked him down in mid combination. It was a beautifully timed uh, lead head kick by Jai Herbert. I tried to go to the body. Got rocked, but that's cool. But yeah, he got rocked, uh, dropped by Jai Herbert and you know, came back in the second round. Made a really good adjustment with closing the distance. Caught him against the fence and started. You know, that knockout, you have to go see. If you haven't seen it, that knockout is just fucking nuts. But he also knocked out Mr. Ryan Hall. Tupudia is also a black belt in jiu-jitsu. And he, he showed it specifically against Mitchell. I'm pretty sure it was uh, the winner of that bout between Mitchell and Tupudia were going to be like the guys who's going to be added. Nice lunch. And Tupudia got the nod. Uh, he got the nod. All right, time that overhand. We're doing a good job backing up this Aldo player. See, the thing with Aldo... Let's go. The thing with Aldo is that the people that use him are either really fucking good or they're not too good at all because, oh my god! Yo! How did I not kill him? How did I not kill him? The uppercut hit him on the way down. Oh. Hey, that, that's th this dude. Oh yeah, and he has a standing game. <laughs> Yo! This dude feels so evil to use, bro. Everything I throw at him feels like just. Bad intentions. Bad intentions. I'm all for the balance. But with like all the players, you don't have the super high chin that Max Holloway has. You don't have crazy hard car uh, high cardio. And you don't have uh, the busted tracking things with, uh, that Conor McGregor has. And you're lacking the health stat department. But if you can use all his tools, he's fucking beast. But this guy's trying to spin on me. He's going to tear at the body. He's just like, like, look. Like he's just trying to spin the elbow. Trying to catch me in the pocket doing some vulnerability stuff. He's just kind of chucking shit at me. Little hook gets him. Ooh, fucking uppercut. Nice switch kick. Mm -hmm. I, I see. I am familiar with your game. I am familiar with your game. Yeah. Now you just have to throw a little kick. Yeah, I figured that was going to be tough. One thing is, though, is that Aldo... Come on, bro. 
<laughs> it's not stuff that easy. But the thing with Aldo, he is pretty hard to take down with the regular takedowns. Like, you need the turn to get him down. And he has a pretty high window to deny takedowns. Okay, let's go. See the pull? Yep. Yeah, I'm familiar. I am very familiar with this. This is, um, generally speaking, when you if you try to be reactive to this type of striking style from this Aldo player, where it's just like one twos, or it's an alternating strike, it's a one two. Respect, respect. I'm not going to say great fight because you, you can't win, but, you know, respect. Um, when they're alternating between, like, 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, and occasional jab. Uh, not even jab. I try to look at it as straight strike, round strike. Once you kind of get into uh, recognizing the, the rhythm as when they're going for that type of sequence, you just kind of know when to stay out of range and when to punish them. So we're going to keep pressuring with hooks. There we go. Keep trying to go for that pull counter. And it's sat him down, but... Give him credit, he is surviving, bro. Where was this Aldo help? <laughs> I don't get this shit. I'll tell you this much. When I get knocked down, it's like a wrap. I rarely get the zombie level survival that a lot of these guys get. Okay. Get back mount. Go for it. Oh, of course. Of course he knows how to do that. I, I kind of wanted to go. I wanted to like just round him a little bit and then try to go for the sub, but. Not necessarily working. Oh, you tried it. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, can we get him out? Can we get him out? No, we don't. Topuria is a fucking animal. He's a fucking animal. This dude, and he's also, everything is flowing so well from his punches. Look at that knee. Oof, we don't want to take too many of those. Everything's flowing pretty well from his punches. His idle smooth. Get him up against the cage, try to look for a takedown, but yeah, everything is just really, really smooth. Like, I'm really happy with this addition. And Armin, when I get to Armin, ooh, we're going we're gonna to try to force a lot of grappling changes with Armin as well, so a lot of clinch striking too. But I believe Topuria has, is going to fight uh, Josh Emmett, I believe in June. I think, in, I think sometime in June, and I think that's going to be... I mean, the Bryce Mitchell fight was already his breakout moment per se, but Josh Emmett just recently fought for the interim title. He lost to Yair Rodriguez, had a strong start in the first round, but ultimately lost by submission. And Tupuria's undefeated 13-0. Long overdue for him to be in this game. Oh, bro, that was a very labored kick. So, and if he goes and he knocks out Josh Emmett in devastating fashion, that dude is uh, has to be has to be next, right? Uh oh, well, I don't know. Maybe he fight Arnold Allen. Tries to slip hook. Gets caught by the lead hook. Another lead hook sits him down. There we go. <laughs> oh, took longer than I would have liked, but that is a cold, cold, cold way to go, my boy. Oh no, I hate it. Had to be you. I hate that it had to be you, but it had to be done. Look at that. I'm telling y'all, if somebody's overpulling, nine times out of ten, they're going to be countering with uh, an uppercut. You input a slip counter, you can slip counter their pull counter, go for, throw that rear hook. Dude has level four rear hooks. That That is the answer to pull. His overhand is nasty, his, his hooks are nasty. Any type of counter that you want to land, you want it to primarily be the hooks. And yeah, I'm sorry, although I, I, I didn't want to have to do you like that, but we, we got to do it for the people, you feel me? We got to do it for the people, and we got time. We still got some time to get another fight in, because let's have a show, because we just one fight. I'm surprised you actually won with freaking Allen. Now, this guy was, like, hovering on Lokanovsky, but he saw it went to Puria and decided to go Arnold Allen, so, like, this is definitely, uh, okay, so she starts off with a front kick. I meant to know that. Ooh, and he's... Saying first line of center. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Allen got some tweaks as well. I could be wrong, you know. There's a oh shit! I I tripled up to the body with single shots and pulled into that. Okay, we we got it. we got something here. I'm with it. There we go. It's all right. Getting all that bleed through. What the fuck? Yo, relax. What was the spinner Rooney with the sticks for? Relax. Relax. You, you give me any, I'll give you a knee. Uh-oh. 
I'm surprised they didn't rock him. Mm. He's prim this dude is primarily headhunting. Outside of the, when I was rocked when he went for the body. I'm noticing that he's just mainly headhunting. So we're just going to try to split his timing on the feet. I want to see if I can showcase some grappling. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Try to go for that twice. Get, get the nice little spear. And the beautiful thing about the... Oh my gosh, I missed that. I was going to say, the beautiful thing about the spear... Uh, with the spear takedown, you do that enough times, your opponent is likely going to low block the next time you rock them. Because you can also do it when you rock somebody. Or if they have very low stamina, it sets up the heck really well. Speaking of setups, we're going to go for this twister. Now, in quick fight, I'm actually going to upload this clip. But I went for a twister in quick fight. And I had thought that uh, submissions don't do damage at all. They only attack either uh, the stamina or the block. But lo and behold... The Twister does body damage, like it, like it did in UFC 3, and it does a good amount. So I'm actually going to upload that as a small little clip. Well, we're not going to get this, but this is cool. That's the stage we get end up right back in half guard. That's a safe stage. Deny that. Yeah, deny that too. So I'm surprised he was actually uh, willing to stay on top. But, I mean, Arlen Allen's no slouch on the ground himself. And plus, if you know this game system well enough... Hey, anybody, but we're gonna go throw up this triangle. Oh, fuck, he didn't get finish him. That's cool. We're gonna stall for a little bit of time. How would this, I wonder how this matchup would go, too. Yeah, I saw a lot of people were really excited when they saw Tupuria and Saruki and added to the game. And I, I did a community post. I asked y'all, y'all wanna see a showcase? Y'all said yes, I'm like, I bet we'll, we'll get one done today. And okay, he's out. I guess he realized that, uh, not really winning on the damage department. Oof. So, like uh, yep. Yep. Come on. Yo! Might as well start throwing on MC Hammer when you start getting rocked, huh? But, as I was saying, uh, I, threw, I mentioned in my community post that uh, the, the graphic that EA Sports had uh, used, I, I let the community manager know and all that stuff. I let him know. I'm like, yo, you kind of put... Five star striking and then four star grappling for both uh, Topuria and Armin Sarukian. And their 4.5s. I had Goat 10 on 9 send me uh, the pictures because I wasn't home yet. <laughs> and they're like, ah, sh ah, you know, like, ah, they messed up. Which is crazy to me. You know, yeah, new fighters. I don't even recall them making a. They didn't even make a post for Sean Strickland and Pavlovich, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe they're on the IG because I didn't see it on Twitter. But, oh, no. Both of them being 4.5 all around and having solid move sets on the ground as well as on the feet. It's going to be a lot more interesting matchups in rank, I can tell you that. There we go. Now we're back against the cage. We can work that punishing body work that Tupuria has. He has some leather on his hands. Some hard hitting leather. Dynamite. It's cool. He's playing, this dude's playing the southpaw position really well. He's leading a lot with that straight. He's mainly doing it with just a uh, cross lead hook. Nah, he's an orthodox. Why is he an orthodox? Interesting. I'm gonna that body kick. He doesn't have his teeth. There we go. Ah! Trying to see if he had to turn. Oh, shit. Ah, yeah. You know what I remember? I gotta remember you can't lay. Oh, shit, hold on. No, I did not that. Okay, I did not that. That's what I say. No, I'm not getting rid of naked choke. That'd be, that'd be bad. That is a very strong submission. Nope, nope, nope. He denied that. Good job. No. Okay. See, that's the one thing. When you don't have the grappling on the ground, how you can kind of tell if you... Good job. How you can kind of tell if you got a denier or not. Or like if uh, they denied your shit. It's kind of like uh, the rumble in the controller. Almost like it's just like, fuck you. <laughs> you didn't get shit. <laughs> what the hell is he doing a lateral front kick for? Whoop. Why, why, are you sh why are you trying to push the issue with the grappling now? Still going for some opportunistic grappling? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Let's go for... Dilla Heaver. Great job getting into your position and finding the arm triangle. And 
this could be trouble here. Mm. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Decent sub defense. Decent right, sub defense. Right. Making no adjustments here in there. Okay, I see. I see where. I see where he's going. If I can get a couple denials, I can probably. Okay, I see. I see where your head is working with the submission. No way. I mean, let me get a denial and then this is gonna be wrapped. Uh oh, oh, cheeky. So that one bar is really good to throw up when your opponent is trying to pass and uh, trying to pass the half guard. If you have a stamina advantage, especially if you're, we're gonna try to get the slam. Hold on. Oh yeah, we got the slam. But if you're trying to stop them from passing, if you have a stamina advantage on the ground, they don't have too much grapple advantage. You can chuck that arm bar and there's a good chance you might get it. So that's a little tip for y'all. Even though it came from my opponent, I, I just like to say it's a really good option. You can even use whatever direction they're going on top. You can sweep them in that direction. It'll make, it'll make a sweep in that direction a lot easier too. Here we go. Round three. Again with that front. I should have sidestepped the shell. Yeah. So keep the pressure. So the pressure, so the pressure. Oof. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and chucking that head kick. Those hands oh, relax. Where they're supposed to be. And mm. if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. See. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Brother. Hey, 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 hey. No. You grab on my terms, okay? Yo. You are making Arnold Allen look bad. Cut that shit off. Oof. Ooh, good body work. Okay, just thinking of pulling. Should have not landed. There we go. Nope. Damn, hit the shoulder. Yeah, Tapuri is smooth. This is, he, he's smooth. And orthodox. Oh. Ah, te jodite. Te jodite. You should have done that. Throwing them lunging front kicks are only gonna get you in trouble. You know what? We'll do one of these too. Yeah. We're not gonna get this. There's no way in hell my stamina is uh is at a good point to get this, but I will say like uh, the standing guillotine is banned from ESFL competition because of the high low mix up that it brings. But in ranked championships where everybody's pretty much trying to not everybody, but a good portion of players are just Playing greasy. If they're gonna play greasy, oh yeah, yeah, no, fuck. <sighs> Went to the body. And he... That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Mhm. Mm Get the rock. His head off is still low. He had to bleed through the hook. I was gonna say I can ranked. Kind of have to, depending on how the other guy's playing. Once they start clinching you up, you gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. There we go. There we go! Slip counter. Got the body rock and a lead uppercut for the KO. Let's go. Yeah, I'm very, very, very happy with the addition of El Mata. Like, I'm not a lot of, uh, would I say he's meta changing? Like, is he gonna be the guy to beat Volkanovski when no Volkanovski's still gonna be the number one guy in this division by by a lot however his the options that he has on the ground do him a lot of favors he has a lot enough power on the feet to punish Volkanovski players footwork is gonna make it more difficult for you to like you know go against guys like Connor and of course a stamina issue against Holloway but overall Topuria feels legit and you have a fighting chance against those meta fighters for sure uh, that's going to be it with mr Ilya Topuria. hopefully you guys enjoyed the showcase double upload today rail 17 i appreciate y'all i'm out of here